the next thing I know, Trump is over me like a wet blanket. All I can say is it's totally fake news. And he is kissing and he's fondling and everything. It's just fake. The next thing I realized was that he was putting his hand up my skirt. This isn't a partisan issue. This is how women are treated every day. In an objective setting without question, a person with this record would have entered the graveyard of political aspirations never to return. We're at the position now where in some, some areas of our society, people are being held accountable, accountable for uh, unwanted behavior. But we are not holding our president accountable for what he is and who he is. I had the experience of sitting next to Donald Trump a long time ago on an airplane, and he was completely inappropriate. And how has your life changed since you spoke out just over a year ago? How would you describe this sort of moment for you now? Well, it's, it has been an eye-opener of a year, and it has been sort of stressful in that I've heard a lot of stories. I've heard a lot of painful stories. People who have experienced this remember every detail, even if they were eight years old. We don't forget this. So I didn't forget that episode. In the wake of the Weinstein allegations, a lot more women have felt that they can now speak far more freely about uh, sexual assault and sexual harassment. Um, how do you think that has changed the way people perceive you and the other women who've come forward about Mr. Trump? I'm, I, I don't know. Because of the political process of voting for these people, uh, it's not like we can, they can be fired, like the, the media people and the business people over on the, on the other side. There seems to be culturally more acceptance in believing the stories, believing the, the accusers are not making it up. I will be resigning as a member of the United States Senate. Are you, Have you decided are you to resigning? resign? The president has addressed uh, these accusations directly and denied all of these allegations and this took place long before he was elected to be president and the people of this country had a decisive uh, election supported President Trump and we feel like these allegations have been answered through that process. I think that the Trump voters knew He's a con artist. They knew he was a salesman. They knew he was this. He knew he was that. They knew he was a, a sexual pervert. And they voted for him anyway. So that's impossible for me to explain or rational, think about or whatever. It's just his core is going to stick with him through thick and thin.